Creatively Uncorked. My name is Hannah Tangen and I will be your artist today. So the painting we are going to be doing is called Simplicity Sunflower and when it says simplicity it really means it. This is a really easy fun paint along so I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. We're going to be coming, covering some of the materials we're going to be using for this painting. So for our paints we're going to have a bright red, a gold, a black, a white, a dark brown, a bright yellow, and then a chalk for the end. If you don't have chalk, that's okay. You could always use graphite, but we will cover that in a second. So we're going to have um, a couple different brushes here. We're going to have our uh, slightly larger flat brush and a very small tiny brush here, um, pointed. And if you don't have the exact brushes I have, that is okay. We we'll also make sure to have your water and some, some sort of towel and then a plate for mixing as long with your canvas. All right. It also helps to keep your brushes stored in your water when you're not using them just to prevent from the paint from drying on the brush. It makes it a lot harder. Okay, and with that, I think we're gonna get started. So, we're going to first kind of do the background here and then we're gonna kind of work on the sunflower, um, filling in some of the basic shapes uh, and then we're gonna come back in with detail work on the sunflower in the background and then the very best for last is the little simplicity here. So, with that, we are going to wet our large brush and take the red and just kind of get some of that red on the brush here and we're going to start on the left side of our canvas just kind of making some vertical strokes some up and down strokes here if you're having a hard time getting paint on your canvas you might not have enough water on your brush so just dip your brush in in the water a little bit and then resume making these strokes now this is very bright red so what we're going to do in a second is we're going to slowly add in some dark brown to this. So we're just going to cover a little bit more. Notice how I'm not going to the right side yet of the canvas. Okay, and we're going to grab some of our dark brown here and we're going to start making some streaks starting at the bottom here. And it doesn't have to be perfectly blended. In fact, it looks a little bit better if it's not. Kind of gives it some dimension and personality. A little bit rustic looking. We're going to kind of take it from the top as well and just kind of start dragging it down. It's okay if it uh, goes into the middle or more of the middle. That's totally fine. I'm going to kind of want it to be a little blended. Feel free to add more. Be be generous a little bit. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of add on to that. Now we do need to kind of work on some of the lower and the upper right side of the canvas as well because the sunflower is going to be sitting on a background and we need to make sure that that background is a little bit full so we're going to take some more red and brown and start adding it to those sides here. It's okay if it can be a little darker or almost all brown on this bottom here. It'll really pop out against the bright yellow petals of the sunflower. And again, if you're thinking, oh, this doesn't look quite good, and maybe I'm not satisfied with it enough, that is okay. Don't worry. It's just the background. There's going to be other stuff sitting on top of it, and we can always come back and rework it after. So we're just going to keep adding. Okay, it's still a little bright, so I'm just going to add some more dark brown in here. Okay. 
Okay. I'm excited to start on the sunflower. I love sunflowers. All right. There's an awful lot of them where we're from, so. Grew up next to a field of them. They get really tall. It's kind, kind of surprising, actually, how tall they get. Okay. Now we're just going to add just a little more red here. Okay. And just a little more brown. I'm just kind of hammering out some of that. Okay. So once you finish this, we're going to keep our brush in our water and just have a short dry break. So I am going to go dry off my uh, background. Um, it can take however long you want. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like. Uh, I will resume shortly. So with that, I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. Um, that's the beauty of acrylic. It doesn't take any long time at all to um, have the paint dry. So fortunately, we have our back, uh, background now dry, and we are going to start on our sunflower. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our tiny brush now, and we're going to be drawing that flower out, just the circle center of the flower. So. We're going to be taking our dark brown, just kind of dipping it in there a little bit. Okay, and we're going to start on the edge of the canvas and make a little bit more than a semicircle for the actual flower itself. So, we're going to kind of start maybe, I'd say, around this point of the canvas and Start making this semicircle here. Again, it's okay if it's not perfect. It's not a perfect circle. Um, a lot of this stuff is going to kind of be reworked anyway, so just do the best you can. All right. So once we have that, we are going to then just outline or make outlines for the petals. So we're not going to fill this in quite yet, but we're going to get our bright yellow and our white, and we're going to get mostly bright yellow laid down here. And we're going to mix a little bit of white in here because um, if you don't mix white in with the yellow, 
Um, it's going to be very see-through and it's just not going to work how you're going to want it to. So you're just going to want to add a little white to that yellow. And we're going to trace the outline of these petals. And again, they don't have to all be perfect. I'm going to try to make them around the same size, but you know, if you want to get a little creative and mix it up, that's totally fine too. So we're going to start on this edge here. We're going to draw the shapes of the petals. Now, it's almost like two parentheses right next to each other, if you want to think of it that way. We're going to go almost all the way up to the top of the canvas, but not quite with this first. This first petal is kind of slightly not complete, completely full. So, and we're going to just start with that same shape and repeat it. Again, kind of making them all the same size if you want to. Mix up a little more paint here. And notice how I'm leaving a slight gap in between each petal because we're going to have some background petals added in. All right, I'm just going to repeat those shapes all the way around. Yeah, so as I said, I kind of grew up right next to one of these big sunflowers fields and while well, they were beautiful, absolutely beautiful, especially if there was a huge field of them. You know, you could just kind of look out and it'd just be bright yellow. Especially as a little kid, that was really impressive to me. But I always kind of got scared. I was like, oh, what if I ventured in there and I got lost and it'd just be a big chaotic time. So I'd wander a little bit into them, but never any, never super far into them. Okay. I can't wait for summer to start. It's, well, it's, it's almost spring, I guess. You could consider it spring now. I guess it technically is. Okay. So, yep, we're just kind of working our way. And also with these uh, petals here, notice how I'm not going all the way out to the edge of the canvas with drawing the petal. Kind of going a little few, a few inches away from the edge just because we want to just give it a little bit of space to breathe, you know, the sunflower. And after we're finished with all this, we're going to kind of fill these in and give them a little more detail and depth. So, we're almost done here. Okay, and I'm going to kind of bring these petals near the bottom touching the bottom of the painting here. You can kind of touch the edge. All right, in this last petal, we're going to kind of do the same like we did at the top. Maybe not drawing the entire petal, but a little of it. Okay, now once you've done this, um, we're going to fill in each of these petals with the yellow and the white mixture. So, just to maybe save a little time, Feel free to get your big brush, rinse it off entirely in the water. Okay, we're going to take more of that yellow and white mixture and just fill in those petals. I'll add a little bit more yellow and white. 
Okay. There we go. All right. See, it's going to go a lot quicker if we use our large brush. done here. All right. And once you've completed those petals, we're just going to go around with our smaller brush and make a second row behind the first row. So just maybe going right in between, making them about the same size. Just doing that, it's really simple. Okay. It's looking pretty simple right now, but I promise you once we add in all those other little details, it's really going to come to life. We can have this one going off the, touching the bottom of the canvas too. Okay, and then you're just going to do the same exact thing. Going to take your white and yellow mixture with your larger brush. And we're just going to fill in those two. Okay, so now we are going to switch gears a little bit and we've filled in our petals. We're going to come back to those and do some detail work in a little bit, but we're going to kind of try to work on the um, center of the sunflower now. So um, we're going to want to use our big brush and you're going to want to get your um, black, your brown, your red, and your gold on hand because we're going to be using those. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rinse out your big brush again. Make sure it's really rinsed off. Okay, kind of dry it on your paper towel a little bit. And we're going to start on the outside row, the outside circle here of the sunflower. And we're going to take some black. We're going to just dip the tip of the brush in and kind of dab it on a paper towel just so it's not super condensated on the end of the brush. And then we're going to take our brush and just kind of make little stabby motions. If you see what I'm doing here, it looks a little bit rough and it should. And we're just going to go along the outer edge, refill your black if needed. We're just going to go along the outer edge here and be making that. And again, if it covers the petals, that's okay because we're going to be reworking those petals a little bit too. So, we're going to come along, 
And notice how I'm not filling in anything else just yet. Okay. Gonna really make that. All right. So then we're going to kind of switch to a, from the black, we're going to kind of blend that into a brown and a red. So then you're going to take, slightly rinse off your brush a little bit, take your brown while the black is still wet, and work that in. Feel free to be a little bit liberal with that brown. Notice how it, it is kind of blending. That's what we want. We don't want it to look like two rows, one black and one brown. We kind of want it to blend. Okay. And I'm going to get some red and kind of work it in there as well, keeping everything still wet. Now, we're not going to use a ton of red, just a little, just to kind of add a little variety in there. It'll look really pretty. Just a little. Okay, that should be good for now. All right, then we're going to go to gold. Kind of work that in there as well. And again, not quite the center yet, because we're going to have the gold and the red and the brown all kind of overlap. I'm going to add a little more brown in here. Okay. And then we're going to take our black again. And we're going to fill in the center. This will really give it a lot of depth and a little, make it look a little more three dimensional. So, so if you've ever looked at a sunflower up close. Um, the center where all the seeds are, they do kind of look like this. Okay, so that looks good for now. Again, we'll come back to it in a little bit, but for now we're doing good. So, after that we're going to switch gears and go back to the petals. So we're going to take our smaller brush. And let's work on the shading. So we're going to get a little bit of red and mix it with the dark brown. So we kind of have a brownish red here. Okay. And then we're going to shade the background petals kind of where they meet. Um, the center of the flower. So like you have our foreground petals like the ones in the front here and then we have our backgrounds. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start here where they meet the center of the flower and just kind of start shading, making little streaks coming out from the back. This will make it look like they're there's some more depth to the piece, so okay, we're going to kind of blend that in, and you know, a little mo a black, you know, from the sunflower might might come on in and come into those back petals, and that's totally fine.
sometimes it helps to uh, dry your brush out a little. So just there's a little less paint on there. And then kind of have it just so it looks a little more blended. Okay, we're just going to do that with each back pedal. And I'm not going entirely all the way up to the top of the pedal, kind of leaving a little space near the top for it to still have that bright yellow. Okay, and also kind of notice how I'm not having a really blocky ending of the shading. I'm kind of pulling it out in streaks a little bit, just so it kind of looks a little more natural. All right. So now that we have the background petal shaded, we're going to shade the foreground petals with the same color. Um, not as heavily as the background petals, but um, just a little, a little bit, just to kind of give them a little more character and help them stand out. So we're going to kind of get a little paint on our brush, dab it on the paper just to dry it out a little. So and then we're going to kind of make just some faint streaks here, just a few. on these petals in the foreground. Notice how I'm kind of keeping them to the center of the petal. it really helps them. Again, if you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I like the shading on these. You know, you can always come back in and rework them. That's the beauty of acrylic. Um, even after it's dried, you can, you know, always put new layers of paint on. So um, be a little bold and brave in these because uh, sometimes fearlessness helps in a painting. Sometimes you just go for it and you end up really liking the result. Okay, so now that these have a little bit of shading to them, with the red and the brown, we're going to um, do some highlights on the edges of the petals. Just it'll really, really make it pop. So with the highlights, um, it's going to be mostly white. So we're going to add maybe just a titch of yellow, but mostly white. Okay, and then we're going to take that and add it with our same small brush just onto the edges of the petals here. Oh, look at that. I love adding a highlight onto a painting. It's my favorite part. It really makes it pop. As you can see, we're doing it with every petal, so the back one's included. All right. And some can have more of a highlight than others. You know, maybe 
one you just have a little bit, others it's it's more. And variety is the spice of life as, of life, as they say, and uh, sometimes variety in a piece makes it look a little bit more natural. So. So we're just going to do that with every little petal. Including the bottom ones here. Just a little bit. Okay, doesn't that look pretty? All right, so I'm actually going to go around and rework the bottom of these petals here. Um, so I'm going to take my white and yellow mixture and just kind of fill in and re add in back those petals a little bit. Just the foreground ones, just the bottom of it just to kind of bring them back around since we kind of covered it up a little bit with the with the black. There we go. So really help it pop. Okay. And I'm not super worried about if it's blending a little bit with the, the black, because it kind of helps it add a little more shadow. And okay. All right, so now that we have that, um, hopefully your central, center of the flower is drying a little more. We're going to come back and add a few more details to that. Um, we are going to switch gears again and we're going to work on the background. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to get our large brush again. Okay. And we're going to take our gold, just a solid gold here. And again, kind of dry it off a little bit so there's not as much gold on the end of the brush. And then we're going to take it and add just a few vertical strokes onto the painting again. So, so we're gonna start from the bottom here. Oh, I might need a little more. Yep, so, so you see it's showing up. It's not super prominent, but it, it just adds another extra area of dimension on there. And overall, when it hits in the light, it'll be really nice. So I'm kind of working that just in a few areas, not over the whole thing. And if it touches some of the petals, that's totally fine. Okay. Just going to add a few more areas here. All right. We're going to call that good. Okay, so we're going to have another short drying break and then we are going to um, just add some of the few final details, including the simplicity up here in the upper right corner. Um, this is a great time now, since we're waiting for a dry break, to talk about some of the other um, things that Creatively Uncorked offers, uh, such as our um, to go art kits. Um, really great way of uh, getting an art kit sent to you. We can get them shipped or uh, anywhere in the US. So that's really excited. If you go on to creativelyuncorked.com, um, you can sign up for those art kits. You can choose which one you want. Um, there's also virtual art kits, which is a really cool way of um, also available through our website of um, doing paintings. Um, it'll come with instructions and a traceable so you can do the painting at home 
Also, um, there is our Patreon, so if you want to subscribe to that monthly, that is an option as well for Creatively Uncorked. Okay, so I will be right back, and we're going to be finishing up real soon here. All right, so we are back. Okay, hopefully you're dry now. So we're just gonna do a few finishing touches here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a few highlights onto the center of the sunflower, and we're going to draw out our simplicity. So let's start with the simplicity first, shall we? This is where the chalk comes in handy. So if you don't have chalk, um, you could try with graphite. Um, it might be a little more difficult, but um, hopefully you have some chalk available with you. And if you don't have either, then I guess you could just be brave and, and uh, try to um, maybe practice with your paint on a different sheet of paper and, until you feel confident enough. Um, that's always okay too. So. All right, so with the chalk, we're just going to start up in this upper right hand corner here and take your time with it. Don't feel like you need to rush. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And this Y is a little bit fun, so we're just going to add a little bit of a flare to it. There we are. Okay, so now that we have this chalk outline, um, we're going to just take our tiny brush and make sure it's fully rinsed off. Put some white on it and go for it. Again, take your time doesn't have to rush it. Um, I'm going to certainly take my time. It's just so much easier with the chalk. really helps if you anchor your arm down. So what I'm talking about is if you keep your elbow anchored down on a specific point um, on the table and place it down on the table and then you rotate your arm so you're not kind of trying to do it like this because really having that arm anchored down is um, a lot more helpful in terms of being really steady with things especially if you're doing words or lettering. Okay. 
you know, it's funny, yeah, sometimes people say, oh, Hannah, you know, you're an artist. Uh, I think you'd be great at calligraphy. And, you know, sometimes it just doesn't come natural, though, to some artists. Some artists are great at it and calligraphy. But I think it's just one of those things that takes practice and time. So again, if you aren't quite confident with your handwriting, um, just take some practice. Do some practice. It also looks beautiful without the simplicity as well. So if you're like, oh, that word is not for me on there, that's OK. Okay, and our why, our fun why. Okay, not too shabby. All right, and with that, we are so close to being done. We just have one little final final touch to do. So we're going to take our gold and we're going to take our big brush and we're just going to take a small amount of the gold, maybe dry it on your paper towel first and then just add in a little bit of gold right back on top. going to look really nice. Okay. All right. And with that, uh, we are done. So um, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so glad that you were able to uh, come in and paint along. So with that, thank you so much and have a good one.